Jio happened to hear about Hyperverge and reached out to us. On one side, of course, we were very excited that this entire thing is happening. On the other side, I think we were also terrified. Okay, such a big brand, how would it all pan out? How would we maneuver through these things? We had to match the face in the ID card with the customer photo that was taken to check if it is the same person or a different person. Face match was not something that we offered in India. It was something that we are offered in Vietnam because we already had clients there. And this was a tricky situation because they already had an app which complied with the regulations. And they also were in the final stages of integrating with another competitor. I was in Vietnam working on a different problem at that point. On a Friday, uh, I got to know that the meeting was happening on Monday. So in two days, it was decided that we had to build this face mask technology for India. In Vietnam, after getting the data to train the model, we took us one month. But now in, uh, in India, we had to collect data as well as train it within those two days. So we had to optimize on the training code. We had to find better resources to train it on. So we built it in one night. We got a good version by Saturday. We spent the entire Sunday testing. People in the company uh, in India had to come to office so that they can contribute to testing uh, different corner cases using their PAN cards, uh, Aadhaar cards, passports. So when the demo happened on Monday, Jio was very happy with the technology. They tried to break the system there, they couldn't. Now they wanted to test how foolproof it is. So they started clicking photos of calendars. You know, they selected Aadhaar but clicked photo of a calendar. Our tech was telling them that it's not a document. There is no document which is present. This was very surprising for them because until then most of the things which they had tried, even if you click some random text, it would put, pull out some random details and fetch. The technology that we built in two days was better than what the competitor was offering. <laughs> and they had been working with them for already a few weeks by that point. Once product and technology supremacy was clearly established in all stakeholders, that is when the challenge came down to the business team. Ki how do we get all of these stakeholders from their side, from our side, from our board, etc. onto the same page? And we didn't have a lot of time. Uh, our team's bandwidth was limited. They wanted to go live very fast. Clients that are at CXO's level are on sitting on the board of Geo. How do you sit across on a table with them and have a discussion on the pricing that you are going to offer? It was more like a suspense thriller that all of us were watching. So the team back here was also very keen, curious to know what is happening. After a series of such conversations on um, nuances around pricing, nuances around deployment, uh, finally there was a uh, go ahead. The thing that motivates me the most about coming every day and working at Hyperverge is uh, being very clear with the purpose. I know what the purpose of my time is and at Hyperverge you have freedom to work towards it. Mm -hmm.